Hi and welcome everybody. Uh, in case you don't know it yet, uh, we're Average Roll. Well, at least you know most of it. Uh, we're a group of Chilean RPG gamers, and tonight we are resuming our D&D Dungeons and Dragons Dragonlands campaign. Before Dragons! we get into it, <laughs> your Dragonlands, yes. Before we get into it, however, I'd like to introduce my fellow players and ask how they've been since we last meet. So let's start with you, Daniel. How are you doing? How has I've been, been your doing week? great. I awesome. recently ascended in NetHack after a couple of months of trying and much encouragement from the MCDM community. They have a special NetHack Discord where they've received valuable advice for it. That's awesome! Congrats! That I think that's I, I think that's a huge achievement. It's so hard. That game is super mm -hmm. hard. The OG rogue roguelike. That's why they call them. Well, ro yeah, it's the first roguelike because before yeah. it was rogue. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> The true OG. Awesome. Oh. Good, great news. How about you, Jose? How are you doing? Uh, fine. This week has been a little hard. I had <clears throat> to edit three videos for this channel. Uh, but aside of that, uh, it's been very interesting. I'm look. I'm watching Futopai, uh, an anime in, in Crunchyroll. It's a sequel of a Kamen Raider series from 2009, and I love it. Oh, it, it awesome. is a sequel. It's a uh, sequel. I, I, I just thought that this was some kind of spiritual successor. No, no, or something. no. The, the, because the, I saw the the transformation sequence mm -hmm. and I said, "Yeah, Kamen Rider." <laughs> yeah, yeah. Seems I'm the only one that is not I, on the Kamen Rider bus yet. I I, I love uh, Sentai film, uh, Sentai shows. Oh, like, me too. I need to play with the with the with the Kiva Ranger. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the character that we did for that one shot that is not here because it was in person, mm -hmm. uh, weirdly enough. But yeah, um, I have a game by the way that is that is about Sentai. So if at one point or another we want to play something weird and different in the future, um, I'm just gonna offer it. Uh, leave it out there. My my all my own my only Sentai experience with Power Rangers, but I was obsessed with hmm. it when I was a child. Obsessed, I tell you. Me so, too. okay. Last but not least, how about you, Alejandro? How are you doing? Uh, pretty good. Uh, like I said before, when we were talking, I, I don't know, pretty addicted with Final Fantasy XIV right now. New patch <laughs> yeah, sure. uh, just recently dropped, and well, I'm trapped again, and I love it. <laughs> so yeah, getting as ready long for... as you love it, I think yeah. we're okay. Yeah, getting ready for Savage in the next week ready to die there so yeah pretty cool good. cool cool everybody so um how how are you well we haven't played in a while uh, us we probably you if you're watching this you probably have seen everything previously you know and you have all the everything up to date but how about you do you have any any questions or doubts about what happened in the last session or in the last couple sessions anything you may want to discuss before we head into the game and I don't think so. I, I mean, everything that could be left to doubt it should be resolved in the recap. Yeah. <clears throat> from Probably, my part, yeah. From my part, uh, the problem that I had with uh, Keras, the range problem, I think I resolved it uh, with the spell that I choose. And yeah. uh, as a bonus action, uh, I uh, because we level up last, last time, uh, that's yeah. allowed me to get another spell that I think thematically will help me a lot. Awesome. Cool. That cool. sounds pretty good. Yeah, I like that. Uh, well, by the way, in case you don't know it once again, uh, this is a high level campaign. We started at the 11th level and now they are 13th level uh, as, as the start of this session, which is session four. Um, so, yeah. Uh, super excited. Yeah. Uh, okay. Anything else before we head back into this in the fiction okay so if everybody's okay let's go back then to Dragonlands Summer of Change and we're back okay that I, I can't get tired of that <laughs> little thingy a little intro I love it um, so previously <clears throat> after a three day grueling journey through the skies of Kryn, which included fighting dragon riding knights of Takisis, an ancient black dragon, having meetings with Lunitari, 
goddess of the red moon and great magic, and receiving visions of the current affairs of the founder and leader of the Dark Knights, among other things, our heroes finally reached the fabled valley of God's home, in the middle of enemy, enemy territory, looking for the place where the gods supposedly once walked upon the earth. It took them a couple of hours, but they finally reached the place that it was supposed to be where the city once was. To their surprise and dismay, however, there, was, there were no signs of the city or even its ruins. What they found there, however, was an elven white-robed wizard, Nematraldi Nemi Lanzaloran from House Mystic, head of the White Robes, who was looking for the same place as they were. After a tense introduction, Haldroth perceived the smell of his long dead sister, who guided him in this case and the rest of the group with Nimi following closely behind to a slightly ajar door in the middle of nowhere. Although they tried to open it through various means, all attempts fail. Desperate and knowing that time was against them, Keras received a direct offer from Sargas, the god of Minotaurs. In such circumstances, Keras accepted, becoming the chosen one of the horned god and allowing uh, the three of them passage through the door. For reasons unknown, the white-robed wizard couldn't even see the door, least go through it. And so it was that our heroes found themselves in the middle of a fertile valley under a warm sun with an ancient structure inside. And that's where we're going to pick up the action. Um, just as a reminder, so I'm going to show you, I'm going to change the music. And what you see, uh, this is the doorway that you saw last time. Um, Ooh, if you remember mm, when the wow. door, this is the doorway, when the door opened uh, the last time and you went through the door and what you found was this. This is what you found, the great uh, city in the distance of God's home uh, under, as I said, a warm sun and you have this flight of stairs around you. Uh, what would you like to do? In the books that that you read, Jonah, do they describe this place like this? So, so Meta, I don't think they do. Uh, I think Jonah knows from history what it what used to be here in the material plane, but I don't think he has any idea what the realm of the gods is like. So. Unless, unless something's different, I, I don't think it, it's even worth making a religion or history check. Um, you can make a religion check. If, you're mute, you're sorry, sorry. sorry. Mm -hmm. You can make a religion check if you want to, uh, just for a general idea of how the planes uh, of mm -hmm. existence work in Kryn. Uh, a little bit of a reminder for you because you know probably this already. Fourteen with a very 14. low roll. Uh, that's okay. Um. So, the idea is that basically um, in Green there, there are only three main planes that people know a little bit about outside of the, outside of the material plane. Uh, they are the Dome of Creation, where supposedly the gods of light live. Uh, then we have the Hidden Valley, which is um, where the gods of balance live. And then we have the Abyss, which is where all the gods of... Um, of evil. darkness lit. yeah of evil and darkness lit. so and the idea is that each of these planes are divided into realms in which the, mm -hmm. the gods live and stuff like that and that's what you like the basic knowledge of people people usually the the one they the, what they know or, or refer to the most is um the abyss of course you know like there are sayings like go to the abyss and that kind of thing you know uh like common people say that, that kind of thing so that's what you remember so this doesn't look like any of that because you have an idea that um, in order to to travel through these planes, you need to reach a place called the Gate of Souls, which this place doesn't look like it. So. I I do not know where we are, but I suppose we'll find answers within the structure. Jonah starts heading up over the steps towards how, the buildings. How far is the structure, Looks. I'm gonna say it's like a couple of miles away. 
Uh, it's huge, by the way. That's why you probably you can see it even in the distance. Um, and as you're going there, I think uh, because you now have ridiculously <laughs> Jonah has ridiculously high uh, passive perception. Um, you're able to see in the distance a figure that is like uh, going around, um, and you see that is that there is a, a humanoid figure, by the way, uh, dressed in robes, and you can see in the distance uh, like a huge bird that the creature seems to be the humanoid seems to be like making signs or talking to them like shouting loudly something along those lines uh resident it would appear so Should does the bird get... look like a normal bird or mm, the... interesting <laughs> um would you know about this I it looks like a yeah go ahead I think we might not be able to figure out the size if we don't have any yeah. reference points, but shape-wise, it, okay. it looks big. It looks like a like a huge, um, like a, a more feathery kind of um, and larger eagle. It's kind of. Uh, uh, Should we get closer? See what they. Yes. Are. Let's go. Going. Anything you would like to do, uh, Aldrath or Keras in this situation? Uh, just, in, in my case, just stay cautious, like, follow my group, a couple, a couple of steps, a step ahead, actually. Ahead? Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> are just we like you are one, like one or two, okay. to, if, I don't know, fighting breaks up, I am the one in the front. Awesome. Keres is in the back. He is not talking. Okay. Sure. You, you. By the way, the the sensation uh, of the burning sensation in your forehead remains. Mm. It's no longer as present as it once be as it was before. But you still can feel it. It's like getting hit by something in your forehead, and then you have like the like I would say like a, so like the the mm -hmm. remaining or yeah the after pain kind of that thing. Yeah, it's like the, a, it's the mark is visible. Um, not to you. <laughs> All right. So uh, for us, the the door just open and Kara said, "Let's go." I think Kara spoke his like acceptance out loud. But oh. Probably you could have hmm. surmised that that was something like when when he speaks to his um, spirit companions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we're used yeah, to uh, seeing Kara speak to things we cannot hear. Yeah, yeah. that is true. So, but yeah. you can see, well, Keras is in the back. He will be the last of the, on the formation of the group. But you can see that Keras is up to... He's preoccupied. Mm -hmm. No, he's not preoccupied. He's upset. All right. Upset. If does something trouble you, my friend? <clears throat> I'm not entirely sure if I make the right choice. But this is a choice that I need to do. To walk through the door or... To accept a pact. What do you mean? You are... Better equipped with the god stuff than me. I only... Pray in my time when I was part of the empire of the, the Minotaurs, I pray to Sargas. Not anymore since I'm out to exile myself. Mm -hmm. And now I think that I'm the chosen champion of him? Yes, you are. Now you're the pride of the family, says. Um, by the way, your three spirits are over there with you. Um, and Anirado says that. And and the mender says, well, maybe, you know, Jonah maybe knows something about him because, you know, uh, like he knows a lot about the gods. You're wrong, says Nora. Sargas is our god. We only know about him. But, but Sargas is... Sarg no, that is wrong. That is wrong. And they start fighting with each other. And please, uh, Bellman is like, please I think you don't, should really... Don't discuss about it for, no, for now. 
I'm go I'm gonna Are you speaking talk. to us or I'm sorry. I'm speaking with the, with my sister and the Mender. They mm -hmm. are they, they have two different uh, opinions about uh, this stuff. My sister obviously like I I think uh, we know would Sargas. You, would you care to elaborate uh, what kind of deal or pact do, do you made with Sargas? Elena, this is Jose. My memory yep. just failed me. I can't remember <laughs> what I, I said. I think just, it's just be champion. Be, be the champion, right? Yeah. Without hurting your friends. Mm. To which yeah. Sargona said, I don't care about your friends. Yeah. Uh, and in exchange, they, they would open the door. I will explain that. As you're going, explain that. Mm -hmm. uh, anything else, you, uh, Jonah or Haldrath? Do you react to this? Uh, I'm silent for a minute because before the two nights that mm -hmm. we had in the Moon Chaser, pretty sure my response would be different. <laughs> now it's like just measuring. Mm -hmm. And looking at Jonah, like, sure. what is his reaction? I think that would depend on, do I know? So clearly there have been religious leaders in the past. Uh, but for, like, I don't remember, is the legend of Uma that he became a champion of Paladine? Or just he was devoted to the service and he did his great deeds? Like, I know Goldmund was the greatest follower of, of Mishakal and was granted great power the way I am by P Paladine. But I... Well, no, because Goldmoon found, like, when she had the staff, she heard Goldmoon, but it, it wasn't like a deal. It was... No. Words. It's, it guided. sounds strange to you because, yeah, Huma supposedly... Uh, it, it wasn't really a fact. It was more like... Uh, Huma was so humble that mm -hmm. Paladine showed him the way to yeah. the lands makers. And, so, and that was like a whole thing. So that's how the good gods work. Do yeah. I know of evil champions? Like, was Ariakas leader of the dragon armies of Takisis? Did yeah. he have... Was he champion of Takisis? Or have there been champions of... I forget the name of like the, the sickness god. Like Chenosh yeah. or something. Uh, no, that, that's actually the Death God, which is uh, mm. uh, 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 it's Chimosh. Yeah, or Chimosh, mm. actually. You can pronounce it either way. Um, the one the one you're thinking about is Morgion. Uh, mm -hmm. Morgion is the one that is about sickness and death, you know, like but sick, like more like decay. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Chimosh is like um, dying. Because, you know, death as, as, as happening mm -hmm. uh, in the world. And then Morgion is like, I'm going to write these names now because they can be useful. <laughs> In the future, so that's this is uh, uh, Kimosh, as I said, or, or Chimosh, depending on how you pronounce this, the CH, both pronunciations are correct. This is the god of death, literally. And then we have this other one, which is Morgion, um, which is literally, literally like this. One thing this that, one is about decay, yeah. One thing that raises concern on, on my end, living all the champion side mm -hmm. is the fact that Sargas would so would look to have a champion like there is some need some necessity to make his will felt in the material world that lends credence to Lunitari, Lunitari's words last night and the night before about the threat being something that every god has to face. I do find it interesting that we now appear to be representing the forces of good, neutrality and evil. What? Mm. Do I look like an, an, an evil ally to you now? 
Many <laughs> followers of Paladine performed great evil in his good name. You need not be what your god is, though it is strange if Sargonas truly desired a champion who would follow his will, I would have expected to find someone else waiting for us, much like the white robe was. It may have been an opportunity that you were here, and Sar perhaps Sargonas barred the door and prevented us from coming in until you accepted. Either way, we are in the place we are, in on the virtue of your choices. Don't doubt yourself because you have now a, a title. You are Keras, and you are trying to do good. I don't know if we are representing some kind of prime power here. I know that we came here to stop a war, and you are helping with that. Keep That's that all that I want. Head. Keep that in your head. Let that guide your decisions. And do not doubt yourself. <laughs> and if okay, we had so... stopped moving, I think we move forward now. No, I imagine that you were having this discussion mm -hmm. while you were walking. Yeah, I, I, I stopped a little like, what? Yeah. And, yeah. Then, <laughs> and then now, you know, keep on going as you walk along. Um, so you leave the steps and you get us to this beautiful, like, highlands-like uh, place, you know, with low hills. Um, and you know a lot of green grass uh, the sun is warm as you probably haven't felt it uh, in this whole summer uh, back in Kryn and um, there's a little bit of a breeze so it's not like hot or anything as you're walking and then you can you approach are you trying to approach this uh, person trying to be stealthily, or are you trying uh, to? I don't do a stealth. It's the, yeah. <laughs> well, it depends on what the, the the group wants. Yeah, because you, I you know, can you, be spell stealth. Yeah, you, you know, Haldrat, he he doesn't do a stealth. Like if if yeah. he's getting closer, he's getting closer. Like here here I come. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> like f philosophy wise, he doesn't do a stealth. He oh, knows yeah, that sure. if you want to do a stealth. It's like, okay, I'm gonna give time for Keras to get ahead, mm -hmm. and then I coming. But yeah, yeah I think we're, we're just walking openly. So, um, the first thing you see then if you're going, um, Keras, are you going openly as well, or are you trying to hide? And It's kind of hard here, but you can find maybe a place. You know what, only for, for security, I will hide uh, be due, due to the, the front line and if there is any danger, I will strike. If, if not, I will come to you. Sure. So, um, go ahead and roll a stealth check. Of uh, course. Let's see that. Think? 22. Yes. Yeah. Yeah gonna be stupid yeah uh like with all everything how, how much stealth do you have plus and 15. i roll low i have a plus you roll super 15. Low, yeah. but do you don't you have like the no because you're not, not yet. you're not not, no, no, not, not that level yeah um so yeah um which by the way it's pretty good um so i'm gonna say that yeah you you stay behind a little bit you you hide behind one of the one of the hills um, and I like, basically are looking for your friends and as to both you Haldras and Jonah you're approaching this majestic creature lands on a on a slab of rock and it has like it's like like a giant eagle as I described but it has like the lower part of a lion and this is what usually uh, in myths and legends is described as a griffin uh, so and this uh, human figure approaches and starts like uh, scratching like the the creature's head, and then they turn around and say, "Well, hello there!" And they approach towards you, and they're dressed with like a very fancy clothing, which is a mixture of like there's a, a lot of gold here, uh, some brown as well, um, and they're wearing some kind of a headpiece. Uh, and they have like a, some kind of sign or the, on their forehead 
Um, they're kind of not short, but like a just short, like uh, probably they're not 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 human. And as they approach, um, they say hi, w welcome. This is unexpected. Uh, my name is Manisha. Uh, what is your name? What are your names? A, a Knight of Solamnia. This is strange. Um, and this These is are strange times, Manisha. Uh, well, Mather, my name is Haldrath, Arch Knight of the Knights of the Rose of the Knights oh, of Solamnia. Pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet you. Uh, this is. Uh, present yourself, please, Yana. I am Jonah Clerk, Light of the Prism, devoted follower of Paladine. Ooh, then you are in the right place, yeah, for sure. Uh, I am Manesha, a humble servant of the Silver Mistress, uh, otherwise known to other people um, as uh, Shinari. Uh, and she says, and uh, Shinari, sorry, and Shinari. Um, you know, there's Jonah. Uh, she's a neutral god uh, of like uh, traveling and commerce and communication. That, that's kind of her portfolio. Uh, well, truth is, you're gonna get probably uh, pretty quickly uh, encounter this. So there's no time here. So don't worry uh, about anything. This place is out of time. So um, can can you? Please answer us. Sure, what sure. place is this, actually, mm. for someone like you? This place has many names. Uh, we call we usually call it the City of Forever, or the Lost Citadel. Um, at one point, I think it was called Gotham. Um, but yeah, many people. But you need to meet everybody. Please come. Um, says Goldie, come, come along, come along, honey. Uh, I want to stay with you at least for a little while until we reach the, the arch. Um, and, uh, the griffon, like, jumps ahead and, and looks about you and, and she looks very, like, uh, intelligent creature. Like, she's looking at you, you know, um, uh, and then the creature, like, says something, like, uh, and, and, like, whatever language the creature speaks and Manesha turns around and says oh tell your friend to come along as well uh there's nothing out here i just come because i get um a little bit uh let's say a board uh, within the within the city uh i was never someone to live in cities uh much mm -hmm. uh so yeah do i hear uh, that i don't think you're far if you're, you're, you're Probably, yeah. You have a pretty good passive perception. Yeah, you hear that, for sure. From the back, I say, fine! And then... This is what Goldie looks like, by the way. Wow. I described it as a girlfriend, but yeah, that's not what a girlfriend looks mm -hmm. like. A very cool. majestic creature. Yeah, super big and cool. Yeah, cool, cool. That's true. So, yeah. Um, so... Are you coming along, or would sure, you like to yeah. ask any more questions? No, yeah, I've, we'd be honored to travel with you. Sure, sure. My May we ask some questions? Yeah. Yeah, I'm yeah, yeah, sure. Well, it's, it's, it's a little bit, bit, a bit away. Who, uh, who so, is yeah. everyone that you are mentioning? Um. Well, it depends. You know. Um. <laughs> Some of the, uh, let's start with from the beginning. This place was built, if it was built at any point, um, to shelter those who decided to lay down their burden. Uh, which basically means anyone, any, uh, all of us at some point or another decided to serve one of the gods. And at some point, uh, we were given the choice to leave that service and come here and to have a place which is nowhere basically and has no time and in which we can now rest and forget a little bit about everything that happened uh, in our lives well we reminisce and we have fun and we try to learn from each other and yeah uh, that's that's all there is to it 
So, uh, what, but I, what I meant by everybody is like, uh, we've had a lot of people here. I think the oldest are have been here for many thousand years, uh, and the most recent ones have been here since, uh, yeah, since the persecution. Uh, the, uh, does this persecution sounds like an event that we should know? Uh, let me check Good your history. Question. Nah, it's pretty bad. I'm, I'm... Uh, give me a roll. You have a plus six. Uh, I, I have a plus six? Yes. Damn, I'm, I'm, I'm looking not at stupid. Yeah, you I have, have you a have 13. To, you have proficiency, yeah. I'm yeah. stupid. Can I roll it? <laughs> Sh sure. 17. Um, that's a pretty good roll. Um, oh, yeah. I dumped wisdom because <laughs> I am that guy. Yep. Cool. So, 10. Ten. <laughs> uh, would you like to roll Jonah or are you going to leave this to, to, to them? I mean, I'll roll, but history, unless I can use religion to roll for it, it, it wouldn't. Yeah, it's not your strong suit. No, no, no. Yeah. Well, you got a 15 anyway. Um, so uh, I'm going to say both. Uh, so Keras, there have been many persecutions throughout history. What you've heard, nothing you can probably think about specifically. Um, in your case, Jonah, uh, there were a number of persecutions after the Cataclysm. Uh, especially with the worship of um, false gods, which occurred after the Cataclysm. And for many hundreds of years, uh, some people were persecuted as witches or anything like that. So maybe they are talking about that. And Haldras, you think about it and you can almost like see the persecution like in uh, capital, <laughs> like, you know, no. a big persecution. Um, and then she says, they, they're looking at you and they're like, oh, right. Um, sorry, I usually forget that I'm talking. Probably you, your people from from a very different time than, than I am. Um, we're talking about the last king, king priest of Easter. Uh, there was a great persecution in that time. Uh, Bedinas um, persecuted everybody who, did, who, th who thought differently than he did. And basically, first it was the... Uh, the clerics of the gods of darkness and then the clerics of the gods of neutrality such as myself and then everybody else um so yeah since the night of doom that was the last time we received uh, a huge influx of people um and you you haldras you remember this because um then you you know this through a side way the night of doom was the night in which lauren soth renowned Knight of Solemnia, 13 mm -hmm. nights before the Cataclysm, was visited by the gods and offered the chance to redeem humanity and save the world from the Cataclysm. Thank you, thank uh, you. Yeah, so you, re you, you know that name, like the Knight of Doom is like something that um, the Knights of mm -hmm. Solemnia is the kind of history you would learn with it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So. so that's it. Uh, so w what year is it? Uh, it's the. Oh. Let me. 383. That's what it is. 383. It's on the landing page. <laughs> 383? After the, after the calamity? Is there easy? Mm -hmm. Oh, Cataclysm. Cataclysm. Oh. oh. That's been a long time. Yes. It's been. Yeah. A lot so, of things has happened. I imagine so. So, any, any news there? Uh, anything special? Jonan, you are the best one to explain the current situation, I think. I'm afraid. By the way, my name is Kerasforos Nedma. I haven't presented myself. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's cool. I ha Oh. Oh. She's gonna lose her mind when she sees you. <laughs> she says and she, she laughs. Um, Who? She? Oh, sorry. A, a friend of mine, uh, she's like the head uh, of the Church of Sargonas, and she has like a similar mug to yours, but yours looks much cooler. I'm gonna look to Keras. I'm grabbing my daggers. Don't see any kind of mark. Oh, don't worry. Uh, 
uh, they say turning towards you, Aldrath. Uh, most people, uh, um, if you're not someone um, that made a pact with a god, you probably wouldn't. Uh, if you're not one of the one a cleric, you probably wouldn't so uh, wouldn't see this. Hmm. So. Uh, Does and then Jonah you, see it? You, yeah, Jonah. Then you realize that if you look at it, yeah, there is something. There's like a, like a, it's almost like a. Um, a battle axe, like a double-headed battle axe, mm-hmm. um, but it's like it's like tattooed on his forehead. But it's a very like, let's say you know like a, it's it's almost translucent. You have to look at it like sideways to see mm-hmm. it, see like the shape of it, and yeah, that's what it looks like. Yeah, cool. Zara is gonna lose her mind, I tell you. Uh, but don't worry, she's probably gonna fight you, and then she's gonna love you. She sounds like my sister. Your sister looks at you like if if she could stare daggers at you, if you could die from staring, you would be dead now. Um, I'm the, sorry for interrupting you, Jonan. You said time doesn't pass here, but clearly it passes outside in in our world. Yeah. Sure. So, we are on a rather urgent matter. We must speak with one of the gods, ideally Paladine, but if Sargonas has taken a special interest in our friend, uh, I do not believe we have seen a more dire situation since, since the Cataclysm. Well... I hate to be the better of bad news, but I'm probably the best person to tell you this. Uh, nobody comes here on urgent task or quests or matters. And this is a place outside the world for a reason. Uh, if you're here, then I imagine that you've come here willingly to lay down your burdens and forget about the world. The cares of the world are no, are no longer yours. This is a place to rest and to heal heal in a in a profound way you know heal as it is supposed to be I turn to Keras and think I'm beginning to see why the door did not open until Sargonas acted but I don't want to spoil let's get let's get to the city uh, you can meet everybody. Probably somebody else is going to have a much better answer to your questions uh, than I have. And pr- I-, I recommend someone like one of the followers of Gillian. Those are like very knowledgeable people. Um, and-, and then, you know, if if nothing else, if nothing else serves, we can go to the Arbiter. And the Great Arbiter will help you probably at least, you know, to get an idea of why you're here. I hope so. We have urgent stuff to do back home. Yeah, well, what I can tell you, which probably is going to be helpful to you and maybe is going to um, uh, give you a little bit of comfort, um, is that uh, you don't have to... um, Time passes differently uh, outside of here, so probably even if you spend... Uh, some time here is not gonna be that much on the other side. Um, so, yeah. And anything else you would like to ask, by the way, or should I just describe as you reach the the, the entrance? So, you get to basically uh, a great wall structure, but it's not walls really. It's more like columns. Uh, lots and lots of columns all around it, um, and there's an archway. Like a huge archway, which is like in the middle without any support, basically. Um, and it is written in many languages, so you can read in Salamnic, you can read it in uh, in Elvish. It's also you can read it in Minotaur, and basically it's variations of the uh, of the of the sentence um, uh, abandon abandon uh, lay down your burdens, uh, ye who enters. So. 
That is basically, and she comes to the door and like, uh, she turns around and says, "Sorry, Goldie. Um, I'll see you later, okay?" And the the Griffin looks a little bit like distraught by this. Says, Come on, honey, don't 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 give me faces. <laughs> you know how it is. And then she turns towards the door, and she touches like uh, their heart, and then they put the their other hand, the left hand on the on the archway. And you can see, like in the middle of nothingness, it's like it's like um, it's transparent. Uh, you see a little bit of energy, and then Goldie disappears. And and like um, Manesha, let's go, and they turn around and say, "Well, uh, as I said, when you come here, you need to lay down your burden. So um, that means that you have to." Whatever um, God-given gifts you have, you have to leave them at this at this threshold before entering the city. What does that mean? Um, they look at you and they say, "Ah, oh, you don't look like like the, like the um, worshipy type, but you have the mark. Uh, but the mark is not going to bother you. But um." If you have the capacity of doing any magic, it's gonna disappear. You're not gonna be able to. And like, the mender and your yeah. sister and them like, like what? Yeah. C come on, friend. You know you have to do something here, please. Yes, I have a little problem here. Is that only while we are within this environment, yeah. or yes, once yes, we? Yes, yes. Should we choose to leave, would our would we be able to pick our burdens back up? Yeah, sure, sure. That's why I I do it. Um, I I don't get to play with Goldie inside because she was uh, given to me by the goddess. But I go outside of the city limits to play with her and to travel a little bit. Although I pretty much know the place uh, by hand at this point. But yeah. Keras is looking to the an empty space, very worried. The, the empty space is where my spirits are. Okay, okay. I have says, literally. Let's not. I have yeah. literally some bargains. The they says, are let's not charged. lose our heads here. Yeah, let's not lose our heads here. Come on. Shh, shh. They say that you can recover us. You, you, we're gonna be here waiting for you. Come on, friend. What are you going to do? Like without without me? How are you going to do? You're you you're not so nice. I'm I'm the nice mm. one here. And I'm the one that gives you strength and reminds you how to be a minotaur, like a proper minotaur. So, come on. What? I'm sorry. I was a little distracted. Uh, they they are encouraging me, or they are need, they need some, <laughs> some some of them are saying yes. Some are saying no. I love yeah. that uh, trio. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to uh, read Keras and put a put a hand on on his back. We have stuff to do. You are gonna appreciate the silence, at least for the duration of this of this visit. Don't worry. Okay. They are, they are your strength. They are not leaving you. Elena, this is Jose. I don't know the Minotaur culture in no. in details. But is, is any kind of salute or gesture that I can do uh, of comfort to my sister? It's not the kind of culture that has this kind of No, stuff. that's what I'm trying yeah, to do. No, it's like... No, I, I don't think that I, I don't even think they have a word like for caring or no. being nice <laughs> or being kind. But I'm going to say that No, sure. Uh, uh, well, jokes aside, I think that no, that there's nothing like culturally you can salute her as like imagine like if gladiators mm -hmm. had, had a culture. So you can salute her in a way, in a very formal like uh, like like when, when the gladiators in Rome would say, you know, uh, we salute you. Do we who are about to die salute you and all of that. You can you can say that kind of thing to 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 her, uh, but that would be more like a formal kind of salute than anything. Probably, 
you could probably go for something else if you want to go for something like uh, like that. I don't want to lead you, but I think that I can be here or accompany my accompany my my my, my other friends. And I'm looking to my sister and do grab my daggers and salute her and say to the rest, I'll be back soon. You better be. I will. Says. And you can see like tears welling up her eyes. I walk in inside. Okay, so... Uh... As you walk towards the place, you feel like the barrier. There's a little like uh, an invisible barrier, and um, Manisha says, "Put your uh, right hand in over your heart, and then put your left hand on the arc." And you can say it out loud, or you can think about it. Lay down your burdens here before you enter. I think that as Keras is looking back to his uh, spirit again. They are my burdens, literally. And say the phrase, don't say aloud, and touch uh, with the hand. As you're looking back at them, they disappear. As if they, as if they were like sculpts made out of sand and a strong wind. Uh, threw them, blew them, blew them away, um, and you get this feeling of uh, immediately. By the way, the re the the remaining warm sensation in your forehead disappears, and yeah, you cannot cast spells, uh, and you immediately feel your daggers turning mundane. No magic items work here. Uh, no casting spells. This feels so weird. I think the Keras haven't seen a uh, um, sense like this in ages. Probably, yeah. The silence is definite. I'm walking inside, and I, I'm waiting for the rest. Sure. Jonah will put his hand on the arch, a hand over his heart, and say, and to himself, say, In my duty to search for answers, I leave behind my gifts. And go through. So, if Keras hasn't felt like this in ages, you cannot remember a time when you didn't have the blessings, probably, of, of, of Paladine. So this is the we you feel naked. Like and yet, thing that was my yet. faith remains. My yeah, the guidance. Like I do not need the gifts to be a follower. Precisely. Excellent. I like that. How about you, Haldrus? I'm gonna follow my friends. Put my left hand on the door, my right hand on my heart. Whichever giver, whichever gift I have, I leave now behind. And I'm gonna step forward. How do you feel? I think you are the question here. How do you feel about this? About leaving? Because this is what knighthood means in a way like like the gifts of of, of paladine as well by the way because knights of the rose are supposedly sponsored by paladine you know but you were you were probably all knights you were you know orders so you knew the faith and 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 rewards of habakkuk which is the order of the crown which is serving mm -hmm. and then when you ascended into into the knight of the sword you knew like the um the seal of uh, Kiri Yolith. Uh, I would say that uh, he feels something is different. Like, sure. uh, wait, 
has been lifted from him. Oh, and he feels like more free, actually. Cool. So as the three of you walk through the arch, uh, when it's just like, I know it feels weird. Uh, it never stops feeling weird, but, uh, um, oh, well. So welcome. This is, this is the city of forever. And as you see, by the way, this is like a beautiful place. Um, it's like a huge sprawling city. Um, imagine it in the architecture, if you know a little bit like of ancient Greece, that's sort of, you know, a lot of columns and pillars, you know, the streets are, um, are made of stone, of huge stone. Um, you have, and you have like temples everywhere. And this classic, once again, you know, a style of Greece, you know, with the, with the, like the, um, the triangular um, roofs and ceilings, you know, and columns, uh, entrances, and you see um, basically the seals or signs of the gods or the different gods. Um, and yeah, um, as you start entering the city, you can see people like coming uh, from every, from here and there. Um, and they're, they, they are all dressed differently. They are all from different ancestries. You see uh, gnomes and you see kenders and you see um, elves and you see dwarves, uh, minotaurs, some weird people with wings, um, all kinds of different people. And all of them like come around and start you know, like, uh, asking questions and shouting a little bit, uh, like trying to know who you are and what you're doing here. I don't know that. Mm. So, what would you like to do? Kiras uh, is looking behind himself if he see his companions. Uh, <laughs> hmm. They're not there. I know. Not anymore. I'm going to break the silence. They say that the gods are not here. <laughs> But we came for a reason. In my conversations with the Red Lady, she said that we are in our course. That it must to be... Something should be here that we need. Yes. If not the gods, what? their most powerful, most knowledgeable followers. Some who may have the next destination for us to go to, or a way to get in touch with them. <laughs> but what about luck to send away the bone chaser back to Palanthas if we need to reach another destination? I have assumed what, what, that. What are you talking? Uh, if you want to visit the gods, you would need to travel the plains. And I don't think there's any ship that can do that. You haven't seen my ship. Yeah, yeah I know. I, 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 internally, it's like, <laughs> oh, yeah, fuck it. <laughs> yeah, you haven't seen my ship. Yeah, I have the coolest one. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. If we know where we are going, I believe... I believe I could get us there. Do you think that they have any information of what the gods are preoccupied for? If they do, it is clearly not common knowledge. Mm. So we would have to figure out who, if any, would still have news of the outside world, of the current activities of the gods. I suspect not and everyone here is resting but by the way um, Menesha you said that yep. it was their name yep uh, Menesha you appear to be oblivious of the current situation outside is that the same for everyone here yeah most people uh, some um, um, some do things similar to what I do and they go outside the city walls and they actually um, 
do their gift, use their gifts to see how things are going on the other side. So yeah, if you're interested in that sort of thing, you can definitely find it outside. And But most people here don't share it much because... I know it sounds weird to you, probably. But this is the best thing. This is the best arrangement. Uh, this is the end of the road, the end of the story. I believe you have earned your rest. We have not. We may return here in time. But it, this is not that. our the final destination at the moment. When they come here, I, I believe you. And it's up to you. But everybody says the same. Everybody's worried or preoccupied. You should have seen people when they came before the cataclysm. They were freaking out. But it's the will of the gods. This is our gift for all our service. Are you dead or you came here alive? Hey, I look alive. I should look alive. Do I look alive? Now, I jokes aside, yeah, yes, um, uh, we're all we're all here in, in flesh and spirit. Let's say it that way. Um, so no, this is not some kind of um. Afterlife. You're not or... dead. No, no yeah. afterlife. No, no. And that that is the gate of souls and beyond, they say and smile. <laughs> no, we were giving the gift of life, never ending. Uh, in a different sense than the afterlife because mm. we get here we get to explore and to learn and to deepen our understanding of what reality means who we are all of us in life dedicated ourselves to a cause we never had time for ourselves here we have all the time in the world and nobody to take care of so now we can take care of ourselves That sounds amazing, but we have work to do. There is sure, a war sure. of sight. There's always war. And they say, okay, so uh, there, uh, there's a lot of people that I can guide you to. We can go to a, to a tavern if you want to lay, lay down a little bit, maybe refresh. You look like you've been traveling uh, recently. Um, otherwise, if you have any... Uh, Someone that you can you want to talk to, like someone in particular, I can guide you to them. You mentioned the arbiter, right? Yes, the career arbiter. And did she mention too, like a follower of G G Gillian? Follower yeah. of Sargas también. Yeah, followers of Sargas. Yeah, no, there's. Uh, they say uh, there are many followers here uh, of all clerics and champions uh, of all the gods and different. We we've never had a, a night of Solamnia before, but you you're pretty weird for a night. No, no offense intended. Uh, I'm saying this in the best possible manner. Yeah, this is the this is the first time that Keras smile. <laughs> Since came here. Of course. Yeah. Um, so yeah. Uh, um, so you can find your servants of all the gods. So which one would you like to consult with? Uh, or, or once again, the Nowhere Tavern is super good, and I cannot recommend it enough. And it's free. So. Elena, um, yep. Keras is suspicious. Uh, she is. Um, I'm trying to remember the, the, the phrase. She is trying to bait, 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 bait us to something, or oh, let me, let or me she check is your, try, uh, yeah. speaking truthfully. The, like, uh, being, uh, yeah, truth. if she has some second intention, mm. some hidden intentions that's okay what let mean. me let me okay so you because you ask uh uh with keras roll with insight mm -hmm. 
and unless anybody else is taking like particular measures i'm gonna use your passive insight for this i mean mine is 20 so yeah no. very bad role I, if I, I don't play that if i'm not playing dragon chess i yeah i don't <laughs> doing that oh yeah i understand you don't deal you. in the inside business uh, although yeah. you have it by the way you have, you have yeah. patience. oh man um, a rule of four no, in this case, uh, Karis, this is the first time that I've ever seen someone roll solo with a rogue with this high level. <laughs> and I was like, you know, you're begging to have reliable talent. Like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> I know. Next level. That would be so helpful. Would have been so helpful. Um, okay, no, you don't get anything. Like, they seem, um, Manesha, they seem uh, nice and forthcoming. Uh, I don't know how much relationship you've ever had, if you've ever encountered a servant of Shinari before, um, because by the way, I'm going to have to write the name. Um, this is Shinari, which is a uh, goddess of uh, travel, communication, etc. So um, I don't know if you've ever encountered a servant of Shinari before. Mm. So probably that. I don't, um, I, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, maybe not a religious one. But yeah. because the labyrinth, the ship, makes sense that someone worship that. Uh... Oh, for sure, yeah. Mm. Probably you have you have some, yeah. So, servant. Uh, by the way, uh, uh, servants of Shinari are usually like very, um, like you know, sociable people. Mm. Let's describe them that way. Um, actually, I would guess that probably uh, a Belmont was or if, if if he was not a servant if he was like a follower or if he, if he had any faith would probably be in shinari or like okay. a goddess like that okay okay um, makes sense yeah so and in your case jonah no uh they are being totally open about this and by the way they look like extremely relaxed that's that's what you get like mm -hmm. they they're not hiding anything because they're being like so You've never seen anybody so relaxed in your life, probably. <laughs> Even like the happiest person you probably have met has burdens and stuff. Um, and, and by the way, all of you, in a way, I know you as players don't probably feel like this, but probably your characters get this feeling of, you know, um, everything feels distant. All of your life's worries and situations, the only thing that is pressing because it was so recent is your current mission, but everything else looks like a, looks like the the life of someone else looks like the worries or or like preoccupation of somebody else only if you do like an effort to remember like what you're doing here or in this case you know uh Keras tries to remember you know about the his spirit companions then you get this the feeling back but otherwise the feeling is very distant and like muted in a way good to know And that is not something that you can perceive coming from them, by the way, from Manesha. It's something like, it feels like something in the air or something along those lines. Yeah. Uh, I'm saying this to to Jonah and Keras, like, in a lower voice. Sure. I don't like what I'm feeling here. It seems too easy to forget why we are here we totally agree okay, let's let's press on and be done with this the faster the better so where can i take you uh miniature says the arbiter i believe that's it's gonna be a little bit more difficult because the arbiter is actually outside of the city uh, limits and um, it's like would well, you need to ask for an audience before seeing them but, but I can help you with that uh, we can how much time do you think will take to to make an I appointment don't, I, I don't Ooh. think the concept of time is something that we can ask in this place see you are the weirdest knight ever yeah, you got it right away. Yeah, exactly. Oh. Uh, it takes whatever time it takes. Well, but it's not. It shouldn't be much. We we haven't had any major issues, uh, in the past time. 
Sargonas was the one that led us here. Maybe the follower of Sargonas can help us. Uh, that sounds reasonable. Sure. Is there anyone here? Her friend. Yeah. Kuzara is gonna, as I said, is gonna hate you. But then she's gonna like you. And then she's probably <laughs> going to love you. Depending on how you be... I don't know. How, your minotaurs are weird. Like, once again, no offense. Um, but, uh, and then they start, you know, walking uh, down the street. And some people look at you and they smile. Uh, they, they, um... By the way, you see, like, uh, goblins. And because there are no orcs in Kryn. So you see... Uh, goblins and hobgoblins as well like having conversations with elves which is super weird because they those two like uh, despise each other um, usually like in the in the real world quote unquote in the material world back there and, um, you see all these different kinds of creatures you know uh, talking with each other and having conversations and like they look like neighbors they look at like a suburb <laughs> Um, that's that's the kind of vibe that you get. This is small. Uh, I think that Keras, since even when Jonan meet him, is the first time they will try to walk and and move like a minotaur, like his okay. older self. Sure. Because he see awesome. more minotaurs here. Yeah. Um. Uh... Actually, you see like a lizard folk uh, person like talking to somebody else. Um, you've never seen or heard of lizard folk, by the way, in Kren. Uh, so, but uh, well, let's see. Who has, like, there is a lot history? of creatures that I haven't seen yeah. before here. Yeah. They look distinctly different from draconians. So, like we can yeah. tell that is not a draconian. That nope. is something else. Yeah, actually, if anybody wants to roll like an arcana check or a history check, probably you can have some ideas about this. <laughs> I, I, I have pass. talked with the goddess of magic. I can have a good <laughs> arcana. <laughs> no, you don't. But you have good history. Mm -hmm. I'm going to uh, try arcana anyway. <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> That's a seven. Yeah. No, I don't this, have any. But idea. I, I love that idea. I love that kind of concept, and I, and I think it would be awesome if this game allowed you, like, kind of sort of like Call of Cthulhu style. <laughs> like, if you succeed, if you have succeeded, you would have marked the ability, and then you could have like level it up because yeah. it's like a yeah, you know, super on easy. Time, because I'm gonna gain proficiency. Oh, okay. Exactly. I'm gonna try. Um, I mean, listen. If you get chosen as the champion of a goddess of magic, at the very least, that should get you the magic initiate feat. <laughs> yeah. I have one cantrip. Cool. I have yeah. the chosen one. <laughs> yes, exactly. Listen, if that cantrip oh. is pressed digitation, that's huge. Precisely. <laughs> so as you're walking, uh, uh, Manesh is like saying hi to people, stopping a little bit, having conversations, uh, and then you see this place, which is like a four-story. Is the, the is like the the tallest place you've seen so far? Four-story made completely out of wood which is like a little bit out of place because everything else is like in stone huge um very well uh like crafted like mason stone um and there's a sign actually that reads the nowhere tavern um the uh, would, you, would you like some refreshments they say before we get to to kuzara Uh, I would like some. Yes, the strongest one do you have? See? Yeah, that's what I... Yes. Now, we're, now we're getting to it. And they open the door, and the place inside is like being transported to a different place. Um, everybody inside is like uh, uh, having like conversations in a way, and uh, laughing, sitting around tables, um... And the place in, in, inside is a little bit warm, though. Um, like, uh, it is not, I think. Uh, outside, it was, like, okay, cool. But in this place, it's like... Uh, like, there's so many people and there's a fire going on in the hearth. That really... Um, 
makes it like uh, that kind of place and and then you see like another small person coming out of the in this case coming out of the bar um, wearing a leather apron uh, white leather apron uh, a top knot and they say uh, Hi, visitors, new people. I love this. Welcome, everybody. Welcome. Hello, hello. Come along, come along. Uh, please grab and gra grab a seat. Um, I'm grabbing two. Don't worry. The chairs are super strong. They're not gonna uh, destroy under your your weight. Uh, I'm Nedak Loan Seeker, uh, and I'm. Uh, your gracious hosts. So, what can I offer you? We have everything you can think of. Wine. I like okay. Wine. You look solemnic and sound solemnic. Would you like some particular wine? Whatever suits your fancy. Okay, okay. Let uh, me get this. If, if you How about the wine that Venus Solemnus used to celebrate the first time he created the orders of knighthood okay this is sounding pretty weird <laughs> for Haldar. it's like i, I know i know it's like three it's like four thousand year old vintage but i promise it's awesome sure excellent okay how about you uh -huh. uh, and he's looking towards you uh jonah I am satisfied. Thank you. Oh, come on. Something. Anything to drink or to eat. Don't be boring, Joanan. Uh, Just for that, I'll have some water. Water. Okay. It's a step. You look like a follower of... Okay, okay. You have the dragon, so paladine. Um, uh, what can I offer you? What can I offer you? <gasps> I know. How about water from the water skin of Fishben the Fabulous? One of the incarnations avatars of Paladine while he was walking the earth. Please. Awesome. And how about you, friend? Nah, surprise me. Okay, you're hard to read. You look you're a minotaur, obviously, but you look like you look like weird like you're you don't look like a strong i'm not saying anything but uh okay okay what can i help you it's okay um, it's not the first time that i hear that a protein shake <laughs> um, what can i help you what can i offer you something um, from the sea i don't know okay you like the sea i love the sea but you don't seem the type to like war or battle so i'm not gonna offer you like uh like blood wine which is like the usual thing I offer minor tours. Um, so, oh, I know. How about water from the Sea of Corain that the sea elves make? It's like a, some kind of a drink. They call it sea water. Hmm. It's like a very sweet drink. It's strong a little bit. Um, but only people who have been there have drunk it. And probably you or anybody else has been there in many thousand years how about that so interesting go for it awesome okay how uh Manisha, the same as always yes yes honey thank you honey uh, um, i uh, like netica uh, he he's like my favorite kender uh, and i've known a lot of kender I so yeah thought that this was something that we are gonna get on our way to the following. Oh, oh. oh, but you just let's just have like a drink and we can go. Maybe something like a little bit to nib, like some snacks, and then we can go. I'm afraid our uh, as I situation is more pressing. If your friend is not here, if we cannot begin the process of securing an audience with the arbiter, I do not believe we can spend the time required here. Uh, okay, let me let me see. And they stand on on like um, I don't see them. Uh, but uh, okay, let me check. And then they scream, "Guzara, Guzara, 
And then you know like a huge minotaur like comes out of one of the chairs and she's like two times as broad as Scaras is and probably like a half a feet taller with huge horns um, and then they start walking. Uh, they are dressed by the way in full armor uh, and they wear like a huge double headed axe on their back. Um, and you say, hey, Manisha, what's up? Um, Hi, friend. See? And they, they look at you and they bow and, and they bow and they, they salute you. And they say, I salute back. it is an honor to have one of my fellow kindred here. It's an honor to meet How you here. You? I'm glad. What is that in your forehead? You oh. can see that. Oh, come on. He's such a cheater. I am the chosen of Sargas. There cannot be any more chosen of Sargas. Honey, you were the chosen of Sargas like 7,000 years ago. Let it go. There have been others in your time. No, no, it's still unfair. Let's have a duel. Let's have a duel right now. Please, no, they're in a quest. I don't care. There are no quests here. Let's have a duel. Let's prove who is best. Sure, let's go. I'm looking for okay. to, 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 the, to, to the rest of the group. This is going to be fine. It's not the first time. <laughs> uh, so, okay. So that was... Uh, this is fast. Okay. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, I get hard. Uh, so you go outside for that. And this is Nidaka, by the way. This is how Nidaka looks like. Um, and he's the, the kinder. With a top knot, though. It's like not short hair, but top knot. Mm -hmm. Um, the, the, the hair is like pulled into an up top, top knot. Um, so yeah, as you're going outside, let's have, I think we have played, we haven't played that much, but I, uh, let's have a little bit of a bio break. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then we can come back and we can finish the rest of the session. Okay. Okay. So thank you everybody for coming for all of you at home, uh, who, who you are watching. And as always, remember, please subscribe. Leave a comment, you know, share this with a friend. We have reached 100 subscribers, Ooh. I think, by the time this goes online. So we now want to reach how many, Jose? How many do we need for, uh, for the next thing? Uh, about a I, I, thousand? Yeah, it's okay, another yeah, sure. order of magnitude. Yeah, yeah we need 900 yeah. more subscribers, no, so I, pass it along. So maybe we can get win. to 120 or so. So if we lose a few, we stay over 100 right now. Yeah, yeah that'll be nice. But, <laughs> but we are, as always, we're you know, very yeah. happy and very grateful to to be to have 100 people watching us. Exactly. Mm. Yeah. So thank you, everybody. Uh, we'll see you in the next session. And yeah, thanks a lot for coming. <laughs> bye bye. Bye.